we now have doctor assisted dying in the United States in five states. Oregon was the first in 1997 and since then it is the law in Vermont, Montana, Washington State and New Mexico. It recently became a huge story in national headlines due to the doctor assisted suicide in Oregon of a 29 year old young lady Brittany Maynard who had a large terminal brain tumor in the final stages and only was given by the doctors less than six months to live at best. She was suffering horribly with great mental and physical pain, seizures, and other very severe complications. But she had previously signed all the mandated legal documents when she was fully competent that were prepared by her lawyers and certified by her treating physicians and then an independent medical specialist. The law in Oregon and other states that have legalized it have similar well-documented safeguards and detailed requirements written into their laws. Now there are eight other states that have introduced similar legislation, including right here in Pennsylvania. It is now in the Judiciary Committee of the Pennsylvania Senate. That bill that has been introduced is called the Death with Dignity Act. It is bill number 1032. You know, there are honorable people who disagree with doctor-assisted dying for various reasons. And I believe in them, religious, moral, or ethical belief that it is wrong. Some feel that death with dignity can be dignified. Some believe in possible miracles, no matter the suffering. Others feel humans must continue to live no matter how painful or how horrible the suffering as humans should just not have the right to decide for themselves as that is up to God. I personally am a very strong supporter and believer that human beings should definitely have the right under strict circumstances following state law to not have to suffer to the very end when all the written requirements under law have been met and fully documented. These laws are certainly not similar to the versions of Dr. Kevorkian assisting sufferers with no state rules, no rules, and using his own death machine in a motel or some other place. You know, we treat our beloved animals and our own pets with so much more love and compassion than we do our fellow humans. Why is that? I think everyone under the terrible medical circumstances I've discussed should have the right to make this very personal decision on leaving the world with some dignity in discussion with their medical professionals rather than to be made to suffer mentally and physically to the very last breath. This is certainly not the same difficult issues that are raised in the abortion debate as that is a totally different discussion. You know, I watched my mother die a little bit every day of terminal cancer with such pain and suffering and wondered why my wonderful mom who led a life of such grace and honor had to leave this world in such a horrible way. 
I also saw my father suffer every day as he watched with overwhelming pain my mother die. I want to hear from you. Think about this and let me know what you think, one way or the other. Thank you very much.